Good morning. Today's the 1st of October and that means ink October. So we're going to do some ink drawing today. Uh, for those who don't know me, my name is Kieran Siemens. I'm a 25 year veteran of working in animation. I have worked on 13 feature films and hundreds of TV shows. Uh, everything from Horrid Henry, Dennis and Menace, The Moomins, Roger Rabbit, Lilo and Stitch. Uh, it's a very long list. Go onto the website if you're more interested, have a look. Um, so today, uh, it's all about ink. So we're gonna do some drawings for you in ink, um, Indian ink. Um, today's word is crystal, day one. Um, so we're gonna come up with an idea for a nice drawing. Um, my drawings at the moment, my drawing style is very free flowing. It's not planned, there's no marks, there's no uh, rough drawings, there's no planning. Um, I just come up with a word, I come up with a situation and I try and draw it in one piece, in one quick sketch. Um, I really enjoy this style, it's kind of, uh, it's a good pump of adrenaline when you're drawing very fast kind of like driving a fast car or something. <laughs> um, so you have to draw very quick, you have to think very quick. It's a very exciting process. For me, at the moment in my life, um, I find it very exciting just to think so quick and come up with an image and a lot of times you're as surprised as you are. Um, so today we're going to do a drawing for you in Indian ink and today's word is crystal. If you like what you see, come along and follow me on some of the platforms. I'm on TikTok, I'm on Facebook, I'm on YouTube, I'm pretty much Instagram, everywhere, I'm pretty much everywhere. So come along, say hello and give me a follow. I also have a shop, if you're interested, pop along, Kieran Siemens Studio, okay? Thank you very much, enjoy the drawings, okay? Thank you very much. Okay, so I always start with a little bit of a splash of ink just to kind of make the paper less frightening. Um, you know, staring at a huge A2 white sheet of paper can be a bit daunting sometimes. Um, so I just kind of throw a few bits down just to kind of think, yeah, well, you've already started, you know. <laughs> You've already started the drawing, so get on with it. <laughs> um, I love this this dip pen. Um, I use uh, Geo Hughes nips at the moment. Um, they're just a little bit firm, so they kind of um, give me a very, very kind of nice, smooth run with the nib. Um, uh, I really enjoy using the Indian ink. I love Indian ink. I'm just kind of, there's nothing better to draw with than Indian ink. It just kind of, I don't know, it just seems to sit on the paper and look at you. I don't know. It's just a, a very thick, lovely liquid. At the moment, I'm just drawing through the eye here. I'm just trying to get an old, an old lady's wrinkly eye. Putting in a few more wrinkles above. I don't know if you can see it at the moment, but my head is, my head kind of is already racing ahead. My head has already kind of planned out what's going to be the next move. And, you know, I can kind of, in my mind, I can kind of see where the mouth is. I can see roughly where I want the body and how I want it to curve. So I'm kind of, my mind's, five minutes ahead of me, you know, I'm kind of, my mind is drawing too fast and and my slow old hand is catching up. But um, I love this, this is, it's a little bit early this morning. <laughs> it's about, um, well, too early, too early to be drawing, but um, it, it's, an, it's a nice way to wake up, you know, wake up and start to draw and start to relax your mind and, 
and just just kind of flow into it you know sometimes you you wake up both with so many thoughts already in your head and and sitting down with your artwork and and a pen it just takes all that worry and takes all the stress away from me it's it's like a a lazy man's meditation or something you know <laughs> lazy man's yoga um so now my mind's raced off and i'm thinking about the hands and where am i going to put the hands and so i've kind of left the the head and the body and my mind is already thinking get on with the hands get on with the hands so um now i'm starting to to work out roughly where the the hands are you can see there's some some drops of ink and stuff like that it um to me it kind of adds to the beauty of it um i'm not i'm not so bothered about these crisp clean perfect lines i i like a little bit of energy i like a little bit of excitement in it i like a little bit of feeling in it um yeah i've done all the fingernails and the, the wrinkles again i love this kind of slightly messy style here it's just kind of flowing and um it's just so exciting to do so my mind is kind of like started to join the two pieces together okay so you need to finish off the arm um join the hand to the body to the head what you've already started to draw at the moment i haven't even thought about the crystal but i kind of know roughly where i'm going to be putting it obviously between the hands um I've kind of thought that maybe there needs to be another hand there to show some of the energy in it, some of the excitement from the old lady. Um, so that's where I've gone above. Um, I've kind of brought this hand curling over the top, almost like um, like she's sprinkling magic onto the top of it or something like that. Um, gives it a lovely kind of a full picture with the, with the hand below. And the hand above and hopefully when the crystal comes in it should fill the paper quite beautifully again just finishing off some of the fingers there <laughs> i have no idea how i'm going to join the arm to the to the hand at this point but my mind's kind of telling me it's okay it'll be okay just just keep keep the faith you know you have to be like that with your drawing. You have to just kind of know that whatever you do, it's going to work out. It's going to work out beautiful. It's going to work out the way it should be. And some of these kind of little mistakes there, a little splash of ink, it just adds to it for me. Uh, you know, maybe some people think it's messy, but I don't know. It adds to the beauty. It adds to this kind of excitement as I'm, as I'm drawing these and working these out. And... You know, over a couple of minutes, you've got a, a drawing that you can be really proud of. Um, there we are. Just joined the arm. I'm just joining up the arm now. Just coming over the top. Um, so you've got a hand below and a hand above. And her face to the right-hand side. It leaves me a beautiful space there. Um, quite nicely. Um, without planning it out, it's just kind of naturally giving me this beautiful space now where I can put in the crystal, which is obviously today's word. Um, crystal being the the title. Um, and the crystal ball in front of the witch or the old lady um, works perfectly. It just fits in there. Just... You know, with the hands kind of framing it almost and the face framing, that frames it up to be a perfect position to put the hand, uh, to put the crystal ball, sorry. So that's, I'm quite pleased with that. It's, uh, it's good for an early morning 
first day. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm hoping in the, the next couple of days I'll loosen up a little bit. Yeah, I'm a little bit, a little bit stiff there. I wasn't too pleased with the way the nose was. The nose kind of looked a bit stiff for me, but should have been a much more of a sweeping action across there. But oh, forgot the teeth. Okay, put in a few teeth. Make her look even more old and beautiful. Um, Doing the head scarf now on the on the old lady, adding some hair coming out. I kind of felt need a little bit more more character. Um, adding some 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 loose hair coming out from the kind of bandana that she's wearing. Again, I mean, looking at my hand action there, it's a little bit stiff. I need to loosen that over the next few days um, I, I didn't feel it so much when I was drawing it but watching it I kind of need to loosen that wrist a little bit more and I'm just putting a pattern on there to the uh, the bandana a couple of spots so that's pretty much the, it finished and then of course you need to sign your artwork. You need to put a seal on it. You need to say, this is me, I'm proud of it. And you need to sign your work. Make sure you do. Um, it kind of also kind of gives it a seal that it's finished, you know. Um, so there we are. Today's word was crystal. And we have an old lady witch um, with her crystal ball telling you the future. The future is going to be beautiful. So, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching. See you all soon.